Hello everybody, today I'm going to show you how to replace the turbo cooling pump on this BMW NCC3 engine. This specific model is a 550, but this process is going to be similar to all BMWs with NCC3 engines. 7 series, 5 series, X5, X6 and any other model with the same engine. If you want to see how to replace the actual water pump of the engine, which is located right on the engine, uh, I have a different video, you can check my channel, I have details on how to replace that. But in this case, we are going to replace this pump. This is the turbo cooling pump. This is the one that is going to uh, circulate the coolant on the turbos. So, the turbo cooling pump is located right under the secondary tank over here. This tank over here, below, over there, it, the pump is right there. It is held by these bolts over here, see this bolt over here, this bolt, and this other bolt right here, these two bolts, and the pump goes right below there. Without mine, we can start the process. The first thing we gotta do is disconnect all these hoses then are connected to this coolant tank because we have to remove it. Um, there is one thing before continuing uh, doing this job is then these BMWs, the modern BMWs from 2010 and up, they don't have coolant uh, drain plugs. That is so important. So for this, we just leave the clips over here and then we remove the hoses. Nothing special about it, see? Pretty easy. The same thing, see this other hose over here, we do the same, there's a clip over here, we remove it, and we have to remove this one right here, there is another one, then we're going to be using a player for that, and there is another one right here, see this one, underneath right here, that one, but for that, we will need to remove the tank to access to that, because that will be a little hard. So we want to remove this one right here too, just to make room so we can play around with the tank. And we're going to take this one out of here because we need room. Right here, see? And we're going to remove it from here. It already has a clamp, so that will make it easy. If it doesn't have a clamp, you will have to remove the preformed clamp with a screwdriver or something. But if it already has a clamp like this one, it will be easy. So we have to just remove this one from here. So we can remove it completely to get access to remove the pump completely. In this case, this hose is all bad. It's all... all and kind of broken, see? So probably we need to replace it. That's why I have this other hose over here that we wanna install. It's a silicone hose, but it's completely different. Uh, OEM hoses are not going to be this way, so uh, I'm just getting this one because it's better than that one. But uh, OEM hoses are not that, so if you have that on, on your mind as a question. So uh, we got this one, so uh, we have to get the uh, five millimeter Allen Grange to remove the bolts. There's one and the other one right here. Easy. And we can play around with the tank now so we can get access to the lower hose this one right here this hose when I remove it find a way how to access to it so we can get it off also we can remove the other one right here this one because this one is the one that is holding the tank underneath this one and we can bring it off and I think we can leave the top one right there it's not necessary to remove it. So, all right. So with the screwdriver, we pray very gently because these are plastic hoses and plastic fittings, and they can break pretty easy. So, all right. 
cut it off right there push this one in because it's not getting it out cool and what we want to do right here we want to disconnect that hose so when i get this hose out of the way right here and we are going to move this one right here and here we are going to have full access to the pump right here see this is the pump and is the there are the bolts that are holding it the other hose is this one see this hose is the one that goes to this part over here and there is a small hose that goes right under but uh, for that probably I need to remove it so you can get a good idea on how that one looks like so uh, give me let me get some of the tools right here this one right here so this one's supposed to be 10 millimeters I think this one should they uh, replace it with a 3 8 because these are not the original ones so uh, someone tried to replace it or remove it before remove this one from here and there is the hose right here this one so it has a clamp already see there is a clamp just like this one and we have to remove that Finally, I got the clamp completely removed. It was a hard um, task to do because it is completely hidden in there. Super hard. Uh, once you get it completely removed, you can pull it very gently until the pump comes out. And voila, pump is out. Um, it was broken somewhere over here. It was leaking a lot of coolant uh, with the engine on or off. Um, not sure where it was broken, but it was leaking coolant. Oh, right here. See, you can see the orifice right there. See, it is visible right there. See that orifice? That was the reason why. Well, good thing then we got the uh, to know what was the problem. So, uh, right now, we're gonna put it on the side and we are going to get the new pump here's a new pump and actually it is the same compare it the lines are going the same way flow the same way arrows the same way which is good that means then we are ready before we install it, we want to use a little bit of grease, install here grease in here, so we can slide it right in. And before we install it as well, we are going to install the new hose. This hose, it is not, as I said, it is not the original hose. On size, if you want to know what size is this hose, this is a half inch or 12.7 millimeter hose. That is what is going to be the hose for this one, half inch or 12.7 12, or 12 millimeter. If you don't have the right size, you can use this one in this case. This is a 3A hose, you can see the number right here. A 3A hose, which is nine millimeter. But because it's a silicone hose, it has the ability to stretch with no problems. And that's the reason why I'm using this one because I don't have half inch. And, uh, but if you wanna use the original one, you can use half inch. Or if you wanna go to BMW and buy the OEM one, it, it, it is going to be the whole set of hoses, these all hoses and everything. So it's going to be way more expensive. So we have the hose already on place because this one is easy to install right now. Um, but it goes in this direction. Now it's time to get it back on place. And before we do connect it to the hose over there, we can plug that over here if we want, or we can do it later. It's up to you so we are going just to install it right here insert it so the pump is right on place the baron hose is relocated right here see i don't know if you can focus on that yeah right there 
actually it's kind of hard to install that one but this one already has a um a clamp which is easier but there is an issue right there that hose is shorter so that means then someone cut it off um probably because they thinking then the hose was leaking and they remove some of the hose and he have i mean with that we have another issue the issue is then right here see we don't have enough clearance to relocate the pump where it goes right here see this one to the bracket so we cannot reach there that's the issue the correct way to fix this problem is to replace the baron radiator hose and then we want to be able to do it the proper way but you know we are fixing this car in, in a budget the owner of the car doesn't have a large amount of money to fix it you know pretty much most of us you know when we were on bmws so we're gonna do something to work it out so uh, let me figure out something on how to put uh, all this together so it stay tight this one can stay here hanging but the belt is too close so with the belt too close we have an issue then it can get cut through by the belt and then we get to damage something else for the moment let me get something to get it there all tight and uh, once i get that I'll get back to you finally the pump is on place i got it uh, to work uh, see bolts are there but you can see i put a spacer right there right under it you can see i put a little spacer you can clearly see it right there that is only to give it uh, enough clearance so we don't pull the hose too much and we don't break it and uh, you know the hose is short too so we got enough room to to tight the pump so it doesn't hang around once the engine runs this is what you're gonna do in case you have a emergency thing to do an emergency job or something that is not reaching the clearance anyway uh, this is a bmw and this is gonna be classified as a ship repair a classif uh, as a mickey mouse but uh, the point of these videos is to help you out to save money and in this case we're saving money a lot of money anyway um pretty much we are done right there installing the secondary pump which is going to be the turbo pump we can continue installing the tank this is the last thing we gotta do installing the tank we're gonna apply some grease heating and all the hoses make sure that the clips are back on place because we are going to clip everything back and uh, that's pretty much it so let me put all this together and I will get back to you then uh, everything is done right here the pump is completely replaced now we can start the engine and make sure that there is no leaks that is very important that you do and pretty much with this uh, everything is done the video is completely done the replacement of the pump is completely done uh, just keep on mind then i did some uh, extra work than i didn't supposed to do because that is no oem original from the bmw and many of you probably then were going to see this one probably going to think that it's a cheap job but that's the that's the point of these videos to save you money because other than that we have to replace the hoses and then we have to um waste more time and all that blah, blah, blah. but in this case we got it all right all on point doing some modifications but it works and that is the point the customer already saved a lot of money on that and who cares if you're going to save money and it works like oem but you know to each their own so if you have a different opinion use the comment section below and leave 
uh, complain or anything, then probably we can use in the future to make videos better and to spend more money on the repairs we are going to do. And uh, if you want to send support to the channel too, you can do it. You can use the description of the video, have details how to send support to the channel to create content videos like that, like this, or to other uh, future videos that are coming. And uh, it's very important that you subscribe to the channel and like the video, follow me on Instagram, Francisco Mara YouTube, and thank you for watching.